Hello, my lovely people. Welcome to Kenan's Kitchen. Hi, my name is Hind, and let's find out how I made this lovely, healthy dish, Adas. Uh, it's um, lentil soup made with vegetables. Uh, it's very healthy, nutritious, and full and packed with iron, uh, fibre and, and loads more. Um, it's just one of those um, soups that when you have, you just feel full of goodness. I'm also sharing with you this lovely fish that I've shallow fried in olive oil. I've got here hake, sea bream and squids. Okay, the first step to make our lentil soup is preparing the vegetables. Uh, the vegetables I have today is few uh, sticks of celery, carrots, tomatoes, parsley and coriander, garlic, a large onion and courgette. They are ready to be chopped and I don't do any chopping. You will see who does the chopping for me. Yes, my friend, Blender. <laughs> yeah, she's my best friend in the kitchen actually. Uh, makes life uh, a lot easier. So um, I put the, uh, the first thing I put in the blender is um, garlic and onions. Uh, I fry those first in olive oil and once they are in olive oil uh, just simmering uh, I'll be uh, continuing chopping the other vegetables <laughs> Just to let you know, the courgettes and the parsley and coriander, I'm not going to be adding um, those to the mix just yet. Because they cook so quickly, um, I'm going to be adding them the last minute, the last 10 or so minutes at the end. I'm leaving one carrot for later use. Okay, we are at the third stage here, adding the spices. Uh, I'm adding ginger, cumin, black pepper, turmeric, salt and paprika. Um, it's about half a teaspoon of each. At this stage, the fourth stage, um, I'm adding boiling water to the mix just to make the process boil and cook faster. Then I'll be adding the um, lentils after they've been washed. 
and after that I'll just leave the pot to simmer on medium heat for around 20 to 30 minutes it doesn't take long at all to cook Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel, tú tienes el piquete, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami, de la forma que tú besas mami, más simétrica que un origami. Eres perfecta mujer, de la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas... Well, my lentil soup is cooking. Now I go to the another stage, which is the frying of the fish stage. Now I'm preparing for the fish to be fried. I put um, olive oil in a pan and some flour in a, a tray, a plate, whatever there is available. I'm at my mum's house here, so I just use whatever I can find in front of me. <laughs> I love filming at my mum's house because her kitchen is white and I find the filming is much brighter than in my kitchen. Anyway, this is the squid. How lovely. Some, some people might think, oh my gosh, what is that? That looks scary with those tentacles. But I love these. They are just so tasty. I love them fried more than anything. Uh, all I put in the fish is salt and pepper and garlic, dried garlic actually, um, goes well. And this is hake, this is what it looks like. What I do do, I put the tail inside the hake's mouth, so I form like a donut shape. Um, that's how I, um, I've always known um, how to prepare this fish that's how mum did it and I still do that it makes it easier for handling and frying so and it looks pretty too <laughs> so yeah like I said salt and pepper uh, dried garlic and um, dip it dust it in some all-purpose flour and just fry it in olive oil and sea bream too. I've got sea bream, hake, and some squid. Do you remember that carrot? Here it is. I chopped it roughly um, along with some garlic and I'll be adding it to our lentil soup. Um, the reason I do this, this is totally optional. This is the way I like doing my uh, lentil soup. I like to see the pieces of carrot. Remember the carrots that I put in the blender? They were tiny and they would cook um, into disintegrate basically that you, you can hardly see them. So the reason I do this, I leave one carrot behind to chop it uh, into cubes so um, it shows in the soup. Plus I like to see garlic as well in uh, bigger pieces. Eres perfecta mujer, 
De la cabeza a los pies, tú pasas de mi nivel. Tú tienes el piquete de la forma que tú besas, mami. Más simétrica que un origami. De la forma que tú besas, mami. Okay, now it's time for the cool jet and the parsley and coriander to be added to our lovely soup. Um, I'm doing this immediately after adding the, the carrots. Actually, I just put the lid and I'm taking it off again. Um, so after adding that, uh, small pieces of carrots, I'm adding the courgettes and the, the herbs. As you can see, the consistency of our soup has thickened a lot because the um, the lentils have absorbed a lot of that lovely stock. And the lentils are getting very soft. So all it needs now, another 10 minutes and it will be done. So the total cooking time for this lentil soup, it's been 45 minutes. There you have it, our um, Moroccan lentil soup is ready. I really do hope that you have a go at making this delicious and very healthy soup. And please let me know down in the comments and share and subscribe if you haven't done that already and like this video to help me grow. Until next time, bye. Son por ahí todos y todas esas poses que tú conoces Gracias a mi mujer y tu amigo Pero en vivo solo contigo Disfruto el show, bebé All right Así está, dime pa' dónde vas Que yo te caigo donde sea Eres perfecta, mujer De la cabeza a los pies Tú pasas de mi nivel Tú tienes el piquete de la forma que tú besas, mami, más simétrica que un origami. De la forma que tú besas, mami.